Every man's life is an adventure. A constant cascade of choices about what to pursue. A journey with a unique set of decisions about what path to take. And the continual haunting question, what really makes life worth living? It's this question that drives us to find purpose. It's this question that invites us to join in God's eternal inspiration. Hello folks, welcome to Eternal Expeditions. Uh, we are excited to bring you today's episode, or for that matter, episodes of many to come, hopefully. Um, we got an action-packed, uh, exciting hunt uh, to show you today, and hopefully a couple other little things that may catch your eye. And uh, We just want to encourage you to uh, get out in the outdoors and share these experiences that we get to share. We're headed out to the stand this morning. It was pouring down rain earlier. We thought we were going to get rained out, but we're going to go try to jump in the stand for an hour or so this morning and see what what will happen. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of in a bad setup this morning. The stand set we're in is usually set up to shoot to the north here, but uh, the deer we've been seeing have been coming out of this timber to the south. And uh, so I'm gonna set up here in this high stand this morning and uh, be facing the south. And I got a shooting lane on this side. I brought my uh, limb saw up today and didn't have time to cut out the limbs I wanted to cut out this morning. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna set in the high stand this morning. It's really starting to rain. It's about 22 degrees. I don't know how much we're going to be able to get on foot footage today because of the weather. We don't want to get our equipment wet. We don't have anything really protective to, to make sure we don't tear up something. So uh, the quest for the turkey buck, a.k.a. Barney Deuce, is still in full progress. We have um, the second rut trying to come on. The cycle for the does has come back. Uh, man, I'm excited. I've just, I just been hunting this deer hard for two whole years now. And I uh, haven't seen him one time hunting, but I know he's here because we've got tons of pictures of him. We've got video footage of him from cameras, seen him during preseason scouting trips in the summertime, actually seen him on the hoof. So, man, we're just uh, not giving up. <laughs> you know it's cameraman love when he's out here in the rain and the freezing weather with you. But we got a great spot, so let's settle in. Very well placed. Still shaking a little bit. But the deer we were after all season just showed up and blew through here. He had some does, late season does, come up out of this holler behind us. And we were, I was telling Bill he should get the camera just in case. I thought I had seen some horns, but 
They I couldn't up, get it out. They run up to the road, and there was a small buck grunting and chasing behind him. And as soon as they stopped, he run up and shoved him across the road. And they all ran right underneath us here real quick. And the little buck stopped there for just a second. He was a little six-pointer. And uh, I thought, man, that... I thought I had seen something bigger, but I couldn't tell. I had my bow in my hand, and, and those two does ran down the hill just 50 yards down there and stopped, and both of them squatted down there, made some yellow snow, and this buck, he just, the little one, six-pointer, he ran down there and bumped him and just pushed him right on down the hillside, but he hung out there and just was sniffing around everywhere on the ground, and uh, I just, I turned around and looked back just in case and something else would be coming, and I seen another deer coming up through the timber, and uh, saw Rack and he stepped out in this road behind us man and I knew as soon as I saw his dark horns and I saw his sticker kicking off that one side just there's the animal that we've been after the whole time <laughs> and uh, I couldn't draw because he was looking right back at us Bill couldn't get the camera we couldn't move we couldn't do anything we we're pinned down and he was looking at us but I thought he may come right down under us so I had my arrow knocked in my Matthews uh, Z7 had the Rage Broadhead knocked up and uh, I thought he was going to come right under his 10 yards just like the other ones did. Instead, he took a, just walked straight across the road and got in the wooliest patch of stinking briars over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right behind this hickory tree, he walked right in behind that. Come over here to the right just a little bit and I drew on him on this side of the tree. And he stopped down there in that brush at 30 yards, kind of quartering to us. And I didn't think I could make the shot. I just didn't feel comfortable and I thought this may be my only chance at this deer. coming up and he stopped in there but he kept looking down that way and I didn't think he would come this way so I squeezed in through all that just took my time settled in it was a magnificent shot man, man it was I just squeezed it in there and I, I, I'm not real sure about it a hundred percent I know it didn't hit a limb but it's still being this close I was trying to make a conscious uh, sight location on where it, where it was and uh, I think it may have hit him a little bit high but man in the past few years, these Rage Broadheads have just done miracles for me. Yeah, so just, I just I didn't get nervous though. I didn't uh -uh. get nervous when I saw him. Everything went smooth until I pulled the trigger, and then I lost it a little bit. Yeah. I just couldn't hold still. I was shaking. I'm not cold. It's 22 degrees out here. My hands are soaking wet. Uh -huh. to get, to get. I'm <laughs> sure we did. Yeah. Let's let's give it about 30 minutes and go try to find our arrow. Yeah. Good idea. All right, guys, uh, we're back up here to do the recovery. It's about 10 o'clock and it's still raining pretty hard. It hasn't really let up. We got down and went and got uh, my son, Jarrett Sandy. I wanted to get him and have him be part of this uh, scouting and track down this deer that we hopefully got a good arrow in today. Blood in here, so we got some stuff right here. There we go. Yeah. The snow makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. Now there's a splatter. He was standing right here when I shot him. That's, I don't know, that's 20, 25 yards, and it's, it wasn't a clear shot, but I squeezed it through all that. Wow! Yike! Hey, here's the arrow. Here's the arrow. Oh, there you go. We got a pass through. Let's see if we can get on this trail. I hope not too much of it's washed away in the rain. Got him? Oh! Oh my goodness! You're kidding me. Two years, man. Two years of chasing this deer looked a lot like this last year. Same kicker off this side. Same kickers on this side. Looks like he kind of damaged that one a little bit. Maybe broke off a point right here, fighting a little bit this year. We are looking some back here. at a legitimate McDonald County monarch. Wow. Holy <laughs> cow, look at that hole, that rage. I was a little bit high, but man, rage broadheads. Oh my goodness, guys. By far my best McDonald County buck with a bow. And uh, 
boy, put in some hours on this guy. I just want to. I just want to start by thanking God for the creation that He's uh, He's given us and the blessings that He gives us every day, and the ability, you know, to to be able to come out and do something a guy loves to do. I'm going to throw this little bit in there, and I'm trying not to get emotional. Uh, the arrow that I used today was the only arrow in my quiver left that I marked at the first part of this season with uh, with uh, JBS 13. That's uh, Jeremy Brandon Sandy. Uh, it's a it's a long story and a. And a and a hard one to tell, but uh, Jeremy was one of my best friends and, and cousin, and uh, he lost his life earlier this year, and uh, last year when I was hunting this deer and showing him pictures of this deer, he kept slapping me on the back and saying, He said, I, I, he kept saying, I hope you get that deer because I know you're chasing him hard. And, and that's cool when you're chasing a deer like that and, uh, and you put that much time into it and you pass up deer day after day. <clears throat> and uh, now I got Barney Deuce, which is a legend a legend that we had from the time we were eight years old. And he uh, he shot a Barney in his lifetime, and I'm gonna call this one Barney Deuce. And uh, that's, that's the story right there. I'm just uh, glad to have my hands on him. And man, what a boy. It's uh, been a fun season, and man, what an ending, what a story. Um, before we get out of here, I wanna talk to you about one more thing that uh, I feel is important about deer hunting and uh, many things in life, uh, quality control. Quality control to me, you know, is uh, is selecting the right deer to, to take out of your herd, uh, buck to doe ratio, um, food plots, anything you can do to manage your deer that you're trying to hunt, or any any type of animal you're trying to hunt. If you're managing him, managing them, you need, you want quality control. And uh, the Bible also says something about quality control. In um, Romans 15:2, it says, uh, uh, "Do good for your neighbor to make him better, to please him." You know. To build up others and uh, I feel if you build up other people in conversations every day uh, whether it be your co-workers your kids your um, your family anybody uh, your neighbors especially you know any, anytime you have a chance to have a good conversation with somebody and you can do that through the Lord sharing the Lord um, through his outdoor creation it's been uh, it's been a blessing for me to be able to do that and uh, share share with people like that and uh, I just want to encourage you to uh, to talk to people every day, you know, and encourage people every day. Uh, Hebrews 13.3 says, uh, encourage daily why it's still called today. You never know when um, it may be your last last uh, conversation with somebody. So so take that to heart and, and remember that uh, God's blessed you and, and he seeks you. So uh, I'm Levi Saney with Eternal Expedition. It's been, it's been great to share this story with you and have a great day. is unbelievable. Hey! Nice pressing the recording button job, brother. I pressed the recording button like this. It wasn't recording! Technical difficulties.